I had a client ask me this morning if they should foam roll their IT band because they have pain on the outside of their knee and they were told it could be helpful. I told him to stop foam rolling his IT band. Based on my own personal experience and based on a ton of even more new research coming out about how ineffective foam rolling the IT band is. IT band your iliotibial band. It's a thick band of connected tissue that originates right outside the hip runs outside the thigh and inserts right outside the knee. It can get really tight. It can cause pain, especially in the knee. But with that said, the reason why I stopped foam rolling my IT band as well as my clients is this. It's not a muscle. Your IT band, again, is a thick, fibrous band of connective tissue. It's not a muscle. It has a lot of nerves in it too that can get easily irritated by foam rolling. Unlike foam rolling your quadriceps, which are muscles and have sensory mechanisms in them that can relax, they will tell the muscle to relax when we put pressure on it with a foam roller, a massage stick, a massage therapist's hands, for example. Muscles can respond to that type of pressure and oftentimes relax. But again, the IT band, it is not muscle. And based on my own personal experience, when you foam roll the IT band, it tends to get tighter, cause more pain down the line in other areas. Let me show you what I would have you do instead of foam rolling your IT band. Think about the muscles around it that are probably either weak or very tight and that are causing the IT band to basically work too much. Case in point, your inner thigh muscles are called your adductors, A-D-D, -D, adductors, inner thigh muscles, oftentimes they get really tight, especially with runners and cyclists, and just for even the general population, they can get super tight. When these muscles get tight, they're gonna naturally pull, in this case, your right knee in. That's called the valgus stress. When this group of muscles gets tight and it pulls the knee in to a valgus stress, the IT band wants to pull the knee back out into proper alignment. Doing that over and over again with walking, hiking, running, the pedal motion on a bike, with that much repetition, you're gonna be asking for a tight IT band. So I would recommend rolling the opposite side of your thigh, the inner thigh, versus the side part of your thigh, your IT band, roll. Keep your right knee straight, turn your right foot towards the floor, roll in towards the groin area, just back and forth. And again, I just read a study this morning that points out a lot of us foam roll too long in a muscle. It said that 30 to 90 seconds on one muscle group is plenty. It's enough of a stimulus to, in the long term, get a lasting benefit. So foam roll on the adductors, the inner thigh muscles, which are probably stiff. And there's a big bonus for you. I bet you most people who deal with IT band pain have weak hip abductors, AB ductors, specifically your glute medius. This guy right here, I've been outspoken about for years. It's probably your knee's biggest ally. If this muscle is not strong enough on every foot strike on the ground, on every pedal stroke motion, on every squat motion or hiking motion. If this knee, if this part of your hip, pardon me, is not strong, it's not gonna be able to keep this patella, your right knee, from caving in. Again, this is supposed to, the glute medius is supposed to pull the knee out on every foot strike. So imagine walking here, right foot strikes the ground, your knee could easily cave in because tightness in the inner thigh and or a weakness in the glute medius. If this muscle's strong, it's gonna really pull the right knee out into proper alignment and take off a lot of the workload from an IT band. Research that. So many studies point out that a lot of IT band issues are because of a weak hip, specifically a weak glute muscle called your glute medius. Strengthen it. How do you do that? Pretty simple. Good old fashioned BAM walks. A lot of my clients love this exercise. 
I do these all the time. Did them this morning before my workout. So many ways to do this, but you have a loop band around your ankles, bottom rib cage down. Imagine doing 15 band walks to the right. One, two, three. And then after you get 15, go to the left for 15 more reps. One, two, three, 15 reps, right and left, lateral band walks. You can do them backwards. You can just do them in a more of a motion like this. Big band of band walks to help strengthen the weak hip muscles. These loop bands probably cost about $5 on Amazon. Everyone should own these, by the way. Anyways. This is what I recommend for my clients who have a history of knee problems and also IT band issues, band walks. So there you have it. Just my 10 cents on IT band issues and why I no longer foam roll my IT band. And honestly, since I quit foam rolling it about 10 years ago, I don't have any IT band issues anymore. My IT band issues have gone away. I kid you not. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks.